So you're in the car with your buddy? Yeah, I just came back from a meeting, so I was just like, I'm the buddy. How's it going? <laughs> so, so I met you what, through UT Austin? Yeah, no, it's true. Uh, that's like I speak, I speak to a lot of universities, but that's just been wiped out last year and this year. Last year because yeah. of the protests, and this year because of COVID. You TK? Yeah. Um, but I remember you really well, you know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, I know you remember me, uh, and yeah. I made you that amazing suit last time. Yeah, definitely. So, I was a memorable suit, so that's why I was like, if I'm getting married, I literally have been thinking, the only person I want to make my suit is Sam. So thank you. I was like, so you're born in the United States? Yes. In St. Louis? Uh, no, actually in New Jersey. But you don't have a Jersey accent, you have more of a southern drawl. Yeah, because uh, I grew up in uh, uh, pretty much uh, a rural town. Uh, so I was like, I'm going to But I like it, you mean? It sounds great on you. Oh, thank you. Thank so you. what are all these live videos that you do? So I also, so I have... I do, like, my brother and I, we kind of just, like, help people... Is that your bro? Oh, no, no, no. That's this just the buddy. This is my cousin. Okay. Yeah, this is my cousin. But my brother and I, we kind of just talk through, uh, working things out and growing as a, uh, as a person spiritually. And then we just help sometimes talk to people, experience their life experiences. You just say hi to grow. everybody. And then... Mm -hmm. like, anybody I comes up, have you do that for me. Also, just say hi, then they stay. Uh, like, sometimes, like, that as well. Good. Otherwise, just, uh, so, but what's your main, what's your main business? What's your main line of work? I help out at a church, and then I also have uh, a clothing business. So I'm like, I'm like the main line of work. Like, so what kind of clothing is it? Streetwear. So like, I just made this oversized denim jacket. But you um, manufacture where? In China? Why don't you send me something to wear? I'll, I'll, I'll plaster it all over my social media. Oh yeah, for sure, for sure. Definitely will send you something. I'm serious, like uh, either to wear out. I mean, you can see how I dress when I'm out or to wear when I work out. Yeah. Uh, oh, but, for sure. yeah, definitely. Dude, I'm like an extra small. Seriously, don't let my height fool you, okay? <laughs> I like my stuff tight, tight, tight. Yeah. I don't do nothing baggy. You know what I mean? I can I, I'm wearing the tightest suit there is, I can still do the splits in this, you know what I'm saying? Oh. I know I don't know how you do all those workouts. What's the you're at like in the gym? The fact that you work out in gym. Yeah, I just I think it looks cool, you know what I'm saying? Like uh and, and stuff, like uh, I love it. So I don't even I didn't buy those. Like so I have a friend here. Actually, it was, a, it was a friend of mine's son reached out to me a while ago and he said, dude, I want to, I think it was like two years ago, three years ago, and he's like, I started this brand called Royal Spirit Denim and, you know, can you plug me in shit? I was like, yeah, of course. Yeah, I never charge anyone for anything. I've never been, I'm still wearing two different bracelets from two different companies that sent me stuff. You know what oh, I mean? wow. I've never charged anybody for anything uh, and, and stuff. But like, yeah, I just don't buy sportswear anymore. You know what I mean? Uh, like, uh, uh, I'm just so happy to help people. I did an F45 class for my buddy who opened an F45 studio here. And I did like oh, four, wow. po four posts for him across all my media and stuff. So like, yeah, I mean, I don't know. I guess your market is only the United States, but I've got so many American viewers, right? So if you want to send me something, yeah. I'd be happy to wear it and happy to plug it for you. You know what I mean? Okay, yeah, for sure. I'm actually working on a brand new, like, I got to go to the factories there in India and actually work with a team and design all the stuff myself. Good, good for you. Yeah, send me whatever, and I'll totally plug it for you uh, across my TikTok, my Insta, uh, and my FB. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. I have my own beer, but I give it away. You know what I mean? Like me, I sell yeah, yeah, yeah. suits. I make suits. I don't even sell, bro. People come to me. And I'm like, are you sure you want to work with me? You get me, right? And you know, I create stuff for them. I'm not a salesman and stuff, and I, and I mean that. I just like to make pieces of art. Um, well, I make what people want me to make them. But the beer is, yeah, let me show it to you. The beer is something that... Uh, 
Yeah, freezer is your drink. I don't drink. You know it, man. Everybody yeah, knows man. this. How, do you, how does everyone know I it? I don't drink either. Yeah. I thought it was so unique that you had one. Yeah. yeah. It's 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 uh it's eight point eight percent. It's my own flavor. It's an IPA. IPA. Yeah. Yeah, I've never even tried it. You know what I mean? I I worked with a brewmaster. I was like, you need to bring out my personality in the beer. You know what I'm saying? Like, I really like. So the can the can colors, the can colors are all me, um, uh, and stuff. So this, the, you know, I mean, the, the outside of the can was all me, uh, but the inside of the can is all me as well. <laughs> so if you ever have a sip, I think uh, you'll concur. Everyone who knows me has told me. But we only give it out at our store to people who, who yeah. are purchasing suits, and that's basically it. You know what I mean? Like when I first launched it, like uh, I think we had more of a following on FB, and people would send messages on FB, and they're like, where can we buy this? So you can't buy it. They're like, can we come and pay you? I was like, no, you can't buy a suit, and I'll give it to you. It only comes with a suit. You can drink as many as you want, oh but you're gonna come buy a suit. You know, you know what I'm saying? No, 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 that's, no, no. I, I think it's, I just remember you telling me that you don't even drink, and I was like, whenever I saw the line, I was like, I don't really want to ask you about it, because I knew that this is not something you can do. Well, if you want, I'll send you a can. I know you can give it to your buddy or your brother. <laughs> I just, I, I'm just scared. I'm just scared about sending, sending the can and it explodes on the new suit. I know, right? Yeah. Okay. I actually tried to send something to India in literally like waiting in line for three months and they barely got lost. So like I had to get everything. I had to go through customs and everything. That was a terrible time trying to ship things. I didn't go. India is tough. I cannot, I cannot ship goods there. You know what I mean? Like we've tried in the past. We try independently every couple of years, but for some reason, it's such a nightmare. I don't understand. Even we use DHL. It. I don't know why there's so many problems and stuff. You know what I mean? I have so many clients in India, and really, I don't have a, a a system in which to get them their clothing. You know what I mean? And I like to work with very transparent and accountable companies. You know what I mean? So whether it's the fabrics that I that I stock. You know, you can Google them and they're all out there. Or it's, you know, the company I use to ship, which is DHL, obviously, uh, and stuff. But if DHL can't get my product to India, I don't know who can. I know, right? And such a shame. I have a massive, I have a massive amount of Indian clients. Uh, and, you, you know, we sell really very reasonably priced suits and I have all their measurements. And I'm just like, you know, India, you've got to get someone to take it for you. You know what I mean? You get it. You know what I mean? You get it. Uh, and stuff. It doesn't exist, bro. I've been out 21 years on the job. If it existed, I, I'd know. Okay? We have the Hong Kong Post, which is phenomenal. Okay? Uh, before we started using DHL, um, uh, we, we used Hong Kong Post for decades and decades and decades. And they can get a package anywhere. They can get packages to Russia and China where DHL can't penetrate, right? Purely because we're Hong Kong. So if you look at every, you know, you know, I, I don't want to say the word, but you know, Eastern European countries, you know, Cuba, you know what I'm talking about, right? Hong Kong Post will get, get it there, no issues. Or like SF, which is a Chinese forwarding company, will get it there and stuff. So we'll, 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 we'll lean on them uh, to, to get stuff there. But uh, other than that, you know, DHL can ship anywhere. But the thing is, I don't get it with India. But anyways, listen, I, 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 I'm conscious of your time. Uh, I could talk away forever. Why are you getting married? Uh, I'm getting married, I literally... No, but why? Okay. And then, like, I already told her, like, like, uh... Where does she live? Does she live in India? She lives in Fort Worth, so she's a doctor. She's getting, uh, she's studying for residency, uh, right now in Fort Worth, uh, Texas. And, uh, yeah, she's getting married in Fort Worth, and she lives there. Uh, and then, like, during COVID, right before COVID, I met her. And then I'm, like, a couple weeks later, I just proposed to her. So how old are you now? So now I'm 27. You're young. I got married 29. Uh, and stuff. Um, so when's the wedding? The wedding is potential. So actually, I find out this week if I can have it November 28th because COVID is her mom's still in India and the visa stuff is like so crazy there that I have to, like, I don't even know if she's going to be able to come. So if she's not able to come, I'm going to have to completely change everything about the wedding. So, 
Everything will work out. Don't don't worry. Don't worry. Yeah. But you're gonna have to work hard on getting her a mom from India. So many people from India want to repatriate to Hong Kong, right? Uh, you know, Hong yeah. Kong residents, Hong Kong born, but they they they're non-resident Indians. And when they're away during COVID, it has been a nightmare for Hong Kongers yeah. who are from India, who were in India during COVID, to try and come back. An absolute nightmare. An absolute nightmare. You have to push. Yeah. Everybody has to push. So listen, let's talk about the suit, okay? I'm gonna flip the camera yeah. around, all right? Hang on a second. So you can see me, right? Yes, sir. Okay, so this is the black fabric. It's oh, super nice. soft and nice, okay? This is the lining wow. that you insist upon. That's yeah, you know I'm not a fan, but that's the one you wanted. We went through this a bunch of times. Yeah, so we're going. Yeah. So we're going through it. We're going with it, okay? Let's move on. This is the button. Nice black mother of pearl. Yeah. Okay? So what I want to talk to you is about the suit style. Alright? Yeah. Now, you've sent me these two two photos of the jacket. One and two. Okay? Correct? Uh -huh. They're yeah. both an identical lapel, which is a high notch lapel. So you're good with that, right? Yeah. Okay. So you're going to wear a high notch lapel, a two button jacket. They're both two buttons, correct? Yes. Now, I, I wanted to know because of the difference in the vest. We get to the vest. Don't like worry about anything. Let me lead you through right. this, okay? And then we'll work backwards. I understand the vest is a centerpiece for you, but trust me on this, okay? What kind of pockets do you want? Do you want the patch pockets? Or do you want flat pockets? Uh, well, I think patch pockets. Okay, so can you know what a patch pocket is, right? It's the big, large pocket on the outside. I've just sketched it. Yeah, it's, it's, do you see the pocket? Patch, like the there, or is it just you see the everything. Thing? It's a, it's a patch pocket. You will see everything. Let me show you. Here is a patch pocket jacket. Can you see the patch pockets? Yeah. So is that what you like? Uh, no, I'll probably just do the, the other one there. Okay, so flat pockets, no problem at all. Two pockets or three pockets? Two. Okay, straight or angled? Uh, what would you think would look Definitely like? angled, like the last suit that I made you. Yeah, okay. So I'm going to make the pocket slightly smaller than last time, okay? I'm just shaving like 10% okay. off. Okay? We good with that? Yes, sir. Okay. Um, I'm sticking with a single center vent at the back of the jacket. Okay. I think it suits the style well. I want to know the lapel. Do you want it dressed? So both of these, this jacket has a buttonhole, this doesn't. I recommend for a wedding suit, you definitely do a buttonhole. Okay. Okay. Then, do you want the lapel stitched? So this lapel has no stitching. This lapel has dotted stitching. And the dotting follows along the front of the jacket and the pockets. Here's a jacket where it's gonna be more visible. Can you see dot, 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 everywhere? So either nothing or dotted stitching or deep line stitch. This jacket has a deep line stitch everywhere where it's very pronounced. This jacket has a deep line stitch, the one that I just put on which is very pronounced. Can you see the very pronounced line? Yes. A very pronounced line? A dotted line? Or nothing? I'm in between like nothing or the, the pronounced line. Then the pronounced line. Because a plain black suit, you need to dress it. Okay. Okay, so a pronounced line. 
You're cool with this, right? Yes. Okay, the cuffs are gonna I be trust you. the cuffs are gonna be functional. Okay. Do you want them lined up or do you want them overlapping? I prefer them overlapping. It's up to you. Okay, overlapping. Great. Okay, so we've talked about the jacket. And I want to reiterate that the lining, this lining, will go inside the jacket, okay? Uh -huh. Now it's over to your perceived centerpiece, which is the vest. I love the vest, okay? okay. But the vest is cut for a one-button jacket. So you need to decide yeah. one of the following two things, okay? I cut the vest the same and I drop your new jacket down to one button, not two, or I keep the jacket a two button, like the photos you've sent me, and increase and change the vest height. Uh, that, that's, that's a question for you. Do you think it probably looks better? It probably looks better as a one button. 100%. Hundred percent. So we're changing to a one button, and then the vest is going to be just like this, immaculate. Okay, nothing to even talk about. I love it. Okay. And what do you do loafers with this too? Let's talk about that when the suit's done. Don't want, don't sweat uh, that right now. Okay. I'm there for you throughout every step of the way, but let's focus on the suit. Uh, now the suit jacket and the suit trousers are a suit jacket and a suit trouser. The vest is a tuxedo vest, correct? Yes. Done. The back of the vest will be in this lining. The front of the vest will be in the black. Yeah. The buttons of the vest, I will build you by hand in satin. The pockets of the vest will be piped in satin. Okay. Great. The trousers, will have a buckle. Yep. Do you want cuffs or no? The last suit I made you had cuffs. You want them cuffed or you want them straight legged? Uh, I'm sure. If you like the cuffs last time, I like the cuffs this time. Okay. Yeah, cool. Okay, so uh, what questions do you have for me now? If any. Uh, uh, There is only one style of buckle on the side. Why? What were you thinking? Uh, I, just, I, I just wanted to know if I could see there's like a black one. I try and get you a black one, okay? Alright. Try and get you a black one, okay? If not black, I'll try and get you charcoal. I know you don't want the silver. But I get what you're saying. Alright. What else are you thinking? Um. Is there a way to get uh, of course, you're going to get it. Okay. This. Okay. What else? Uh, I'm trying to think of anything else. And oh, it's the line. Is it just how, like, with the last the pocket on the chest where you put the, what is it? The pocket square? The pocket square. That's also going to have that lining in it? Yes. You're going to have that. Don't sweat it. I invented this over a decade and yeah. a half ago. Yeah, I use, I use that a lot for my the curtains that you have. Good. I love that suit. I love the suit we made you. Uh, Anything yeah, else? I think that's, I think that's, that's it. Oh, I guess the other thing is just like, what, what shoe do you think uh, would be best for this? What shoe do I think is best? Brooks. Not loafers. You hear me? You can't get married in loafers, bro. It's way too cash. It's your wedding. You hear me? Yeah, true. You know what I'm saying? I want you wearing brogues and dress socks. I don't care how short the pants are. You get yourself a great pair of socks and a great pair of brogues. Okay. Dude, I would always buy Cole Haan. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I would always buy Cole Haan. 
All right, so yeah. we're gonna do this. We're gonna do this again in a couple of weeks once your suit is built, and I'm gonna take you through it. Okay. Okay, Chan. Perfect. Thank you so much for your trust and faith in me. Right, I'll talk to you, you so soon. Take care. Yeah. Pleasure. Yeah. Bye. That was a long one. How many of you guys actually stayed and watched all that? Haven Pontac, how's it going? How many guys, how many of you actually stayed and watched it? Hi, Wilfred. King of Capital, you're back. What is the price range for a Tom Ford style suit? It is irrelevant. We can make any style you want. This is to that's good clip. Um, we can make any style you want. Uh, the price doesn't depend on the style. It depends on the fabric and your size. Where are you? Are you in Hong Kong? Uh, can you just DM me? And even if you're not in Hong Kong, as you can see, I'm doing business with people all around the world morning to night through video. If you watched my last video, which was just the one before this, I was thanking my client. He just, he just ordered suit. He trusted me on the, he needed changes. I asked him specific questions. He trusted me. There's no metric system about this. It's all me and how I feel and how I interpret what I want you to send me. And I delivered to him something perfect, even better than his first suit from me. And now he's immediately making a second suit. Um, so it's irrelevant what style you want. I'll make you the most amazing suit no matter what, whatever style you want, we'll cover every base. It doesn't impact the price. What I need to know is if you're serious about making something from me and uh, where you are. So you need to DM me here on Insta. That's good clip. I hope you're still there. I didn't waste my time talking. Mic drop. Sam will send you my measurements tomorrow. I'm looking forward to it. Houston, Texas. I think we were SMSing. Uh, Mic drop, you can uh, message me through Insta as well. Hey, Webab, how's it going, buddy? I hope you're still there. Hi, Deepu. Did you enjoy my video? Scott, hello. Campbell, hello. Khan Uma, hello. Ashish Bakor, hello. Alejandro Hua, hi. Hey, Nathan, you're back. You were here yesterday. Are you still watching, Nathan? I'll put my dad on. Hi, Lily Pig. Hi, Ryan. The man, the myth, the legend, Ryan Duna. Thank you for the compliment. Have we met before? Do I know you? Have we worked together? Are you still watching, Ryan? Uh, if you are, send me a DM, please. Hi, The Bird. Hi, K3 Sunny. The man, Phil. Bro, you're the man. Hey, Mike Drop, how's it going? Jake Carter, I watched it. What'd you watch, Jake? Uh, Mike Drop, I'll send you measurements tomorrow, yes. Hey, I was wondering if you've ever made a Kimbo style suit. I've made every style suit. Yes, I can do a Kimbo style suit. DM me the photo. Just Jay Carter, DM me the photo. And then we can start a discussion. Hi, Kunj. How's it going? Hi, Lynn Winsome. Yeah, Tom Brown, no problem at all. Uh, I, you know, I did so much Tom Brown stuff. When, when um, LeBron was in the finals, I don't know whether he was with the Cavs or with the Heat and stuff and whether they won that year or they, they lost. He made everyone uh, in, their, uh, in the team Tom Brown suits and then there was a real rage. And I was already making Tom Brown suits. I was making Tom Brown suits before Tom Brown. Um, it's the same thing with Tom Ford. I was making Tom Ford suits before Tom Ford. This is not ego. It's just history. Uh, Campbell, 1947. Hello from Vancouver, Canada. Have we worked with each other? Um, guys, if you, any of you are watching on Tik, any of you are from TikTok and you've, you've migrated over here, thank you so much. Um, if there's any questions, tell me. Otherwise, I'm going to go now. Uh, the questions I've replied to, continue to DM me, please, and we can work there. Thank you so much. Bye.